Is it different scoring something like that, scoring a documentary as opposed to a narrative? Yeah, it's definitely different for me um, than either film or television just because there is so much talking, but not only just the talking, you want, you want them to focus more. You don't have to help it so much. You know, with narrative, you need to help the story or the acting or you know, things that they weren't happy with is usually where we come in and, and, and fix things. And in documentaries, you're not fixing anything. You, you can actually harm things. So I think the most important thing for me when I'm doing a documentary is find the right tone and mood and then just kind of set the table and back away and let them eat. So that was, that was the tough thing. And then the other tough thing about this one was feeling like you're working on something with such importance and responsibility. That was probably the hardest part about this documentary. I kept, you know, I was my worst critic and those notes have to be better, but there's only 12 to pick from and pick something now, you've got to send something to them. And, you know, and they were great about, you know, helping me through those breakdowns. I did have an interesting thing in this documentary though where um, they weren't allowed to film any of the court case, any of the proceedings. Um, so they came up with a very creative way of having the attorneys reread transcripts from the trials. And you guys in the first meeting, one of the scenes, you said, I mean, he just sits there and he just reads it. It needs to, you know, we wish it was a court case and it was scored. And I said, well, why don't I score it as if it were a scene from a few good men? want people to cry now. Yeah. <laughs> But in that way, I had to sort of invent the scene in my brain of watching him in the court case and you know how it would be cut if you were watching A Few Good Men or, or something like that, and score that, and then still be out of the way of the, uh, all the and those, talking. Those were the scenes that, because we had tent music there, but those were the scenes that really came alive <laughs> after Blake was involved in the film, I'd say. So sort of putting people in the courtroom, making them feel like they're a part of the journey with our character.